Hello. So you want to duplicate an object in a radial sort of way, like we can see in this example. This is the right video for you. Let's jump into it. So let's say we have this object, uh, for example, we can call it a lightsaber handle. Um, and we want to add some, well, screws around this, uh, this cylinder here. So there is this te technique I'm going to show you. Let's create this screw that we want to rotate quickly. Uh, we don't need these back faces, so we're going to delete them. We're going to position the screw where we want it to be. Yeah, scale it a bit. Yeah, like this. Yeah, maybe scale this too. Great. Okay, so the next thing uh, we need to do is center the pivot of this object that we want to rotate to a position, actually a point, around which we are going to uh, duplicate and rotate the objects. So we can go into the wireframe mode, hold D to enter the pivot move uh, option, and hold V you're going to see this uh, center change. So hold D and V at the same time, and then click on the axis and move it towards a vertex you want uh, the, the pivot to be. So if we, if we move our mouse to this vertex, it's going to snap it to that place along the uh, Z axis, because we want to rotate the object around that point. Okay, so, so now that we have our object's pivot in place, we go to, we can of course delete uh, history and freeze trans transformations, but not really needed. Um, so we go to edit, duplicate special, and then we have this uh, piece of interface here. We can uh, specify is the geometry type copy or instance. Copy is only going to duplicate the object and instance is going to duplicate the object and whatever change we make on either of those objects is going to be propagated to all the others spawned. I'm going to show you that later. But for now, let's keep it at copy. The next thing we need is the number of copies. Uh, we are going to need, if, we, if you want, for example, six of these objects around the, the cylinder, uh, you have to specify the number five because you already have the sixth. So, with the number of copies set to 5, we then need to calculate the angle at which we need it to rotate. So you take your calcula calculator, type in 360 as, uh, as a circle has 360 degrees, and then divide it by the number of objects you want to have it around. In this case it's 6, so 60. Then you put number it, is going to be zero by default. So in this rotate row here, you need to put 60 in the Y axis. This is X, this is Y, this is Z. So 60 in the Y axis and number of copies set to five with our pivot centered, we just press and our object selected, we just press apply. So now we have perfectly uh, laid out our screws for our lightsaber and uh, it's looking pretty nice. Okay, great. But now let's uh, see what the instance object does. We click apply again and now we have the same result except now that we click on any component of our objects. You can see that it's selected on all others. So when you move one, all the others move. This is pretty handful and uh, not handle, ha handy rather, uh, so you can scale your result. It's going to be um, pretty helpful to you guys. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.